Okay, this is actually my second take at this. Uh, the first one I kind of um, caught myself rambling about irrelevant stuff at the end of the video. And uh, I'm sure there was a way to edit it. Like I could just chop off the end. But I did a little research and I wasn't finding it quickly. So I thought I'll just go ahead and make a second video. So if you look down the line here, you'll notice that they're all hovering. Because, well, I, as I said, this is the second take, so I already uh, went for this, but I will do this again. It was a, uh, I'm enjoying doing the drives. I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully uh, sometime in the future there being a uh, uh, actual test course I can take them on for, uh, you know, where I actually get to use their weapons, because these are all tanks. They may be uh, tanks of different quality, from light tanks to heavy tanks, but they are all tanks. So I'm hoping whatever courses come up with, uh, even if I have to make it myself, we'll start off with uh, opportunity to prove that they are tanks, so that there will be success, and then in the end to destroy them all. Now this tank here, starting off at number 25, this one I wanted to uh, make a point here. I, I'm enjoying some of these uh, shapes to it. But I looked and I saw these. I'm like, oh. And with the cockpit up here, just so wish that there really was ladders for your HV. That you really could climb the outside instead of, in this case, using creative to get around. So if I actually... Uh, if there really were ladders, that would be so nice, so wonderful. Uh, a couple other points I had made on the first take of this, and I would like to point out again, um, although you'll be hearing them from me for the first time, that uh, I really like the work they did here. I've seen uh, people uh, use blocks to create outlines around, but for some reason as I'm looking at this here, where they've used the... Uh, Oh, I forget what these are called, but basically they're using these uh, um, these uh, different structural blocks. It really looks, I think, really nice. I really like it. Uh, another thing I noticed here is that uh, the uh, rear of the vessel here, it almost looks to me like it could be an uh, the front of another vessel itself. I really like the way it looks. In this case it is the rear. We're going to go in here. Oops, and I missed the target. Uh, one of the fun parts of doing these videos is dealing with my human error. So hopefully the people uh, watching this will get some entertainment uh, and enjoyment out of my flaws. You know, they probably have never done that themselves. But then again, maybe they have, and so, you know, maybe they understand quite well. Um, now, maybe there's somewhere to get to the uh, the top cock the cockpit on top, which looks very nice up there. But I could not find it. Uh, however, there happens to be a cockpit right down here. We can go ahead and use this for our drive. Oh, I just turned it off. It was it was on. I just saw it drop. I'm like, oh. Was it shut off? No, it was on. It was on. I should have should have been paying more attention. It was on. But uh, now that I've experienced that, I'll have to keep that in mind for the other hover vehicles that might go in there and take the seat. They may drop. And do not panic. Because these all should have at least 18 hours of runtime, I believe what it was, the requirement. So if they're just sitting there idle, they will be powered for a very long time. Okay, let's start off with my ramp test here. Nice big engines and up, up, over the top we go. Oops, apparently uh, I got over the top, but and cleared it quite like I thought I had. Now the next challenge I have here, as I've discovered in some of the other videos, 
is that uh, not all vehicles that can do the uh, vertical climb can make the transition to the wall, but this one makes it quite nicely. And feel like I'm just taking off on a rocket here with those big old engines. I almost feel like if the a an HV could fly, this one would do so. Okay, we have no boosters. We can skip the boost meter. And we will move on to the next one. And we'll get through this row here. Okay. This next one here. Very beautiful colors. Um, uh, I would say that uh, one of the distinguishing characteristics for the des next designer over here is they do tend to use a lot of that red and white. Looking very beautiful, very elegant. Uh, I just need to get myself out of here. How do I get myself stuck? Am I, am I stuck on the seat? Okay. I've gotten spoiled by some of the automatic doors. Maybe that one is automatic and just failed to work for me for that moment, but many of these doors have been automatic. Okay, this beautiful beast is put on by put together by the sponsor of our contest. And one of the things I really liked about this one, you have this nice little channel here with your uh, our two channels three Gatling guns each, which we're allowed, but then they get an extra gun in that channel with the turret, a turret on each side. Looks really kind of cool, at least to me, and so it uh, gives it a, a sideways turret. Oh, I'm hearing motion sensors, so let us head in. Okay. I liked how they did this one up here. It looks like a little kitchen. So, I mean, then we have a counter over here. Maybe a little serving area of sorts. So it really, you know, I know someone else labeled theirs as a uh, an RV, and theirs may very well be, but uh, even though this one's a bit smaller than theirs, this definitely has that, uh, for, at least for me, that nice RV, you know, luxury feel to it. But they did say that the they like, uh, you know, if they're going to go out in the tank and battle, they, you know, the style was very important. And I think this one certainly has that. Whoa, whoa careful there. Got some good handling, I think. Just need uh, a little better piloting by the by me. Okay, here we go. Line ourselves up. We're ready to go. And I like the uh, cockpit view here, so I'll just uh, as long as I don't mess up, I'll just take this thing right out from the cockpit. And here we go. Clear the vertical. So now, 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 if I could just steer a little better here. Let's see if I can get up the wall. Transition, I think we, uh, yeah, the, we're climbing. Definitely made the transition to the wall. We got some boosters on this thing. Okay, I'm guessing from that that I, uh, even though I couldn't see from my cockpit view, but I'm guessing I actually landed somewhat on the ramp there. Now for this, I am going to first confirm we are at three meters. And I've noticed here when I've lo loaded the save here, that sometimes I've had to hit this start gate a couple times. What is going on here? This thing should reset the lights when I pass through here. Okay, they should all turn off. And they should not all be on. 
What is going on? Ah, oh, this is where it's supposed to be. Finally, it reset. Where we got the one light here, because we are over two meters, because we're hovering at three. Get ourselves positioned. We hit the booster. And like a lot of our uh, heavy tanks, even though we could look like we got a decent uh, uh, height on that boost, we did not get the second light, so we did not clear a meter of boost. So, but that's been the common uh, denominator with a lot of these uh, big tanks. not always get the best in boost. That's usually been, I want to say there was one of the uh, bigger tanks that actually got some decent boost, did clear at least that one light in a previous video, or is that in the yet to do in this one? I cannot uh, recall exactly where that was, but uh, that was one of those things on some motion sensor, red light when we're in the cabin there. Okay. I'm going to go over to this one, but yeah, we're going to uh, look at this one here a little bit. I noticed that they got the two cockpits up there, and maybe it's just m my imagination playing with me, um, but the way they've got them done up there, it almost looks like turrets to me, even though those are two cockpits up there. that you could accommodate uh, some extra passengers on this thing. Especially since we don't actually have a passenger seats in here. I'm going to take this uh, cockpit here. But on one of those things of this, I noticed that there are uh, a little segmentation of the uh, ship and it's kind of an interesting effect as well. Now let's see, I seem to recall that this one This also had some pretty good climb. Probably, I'm guessing this one's a little bit lighter uh, than many of the other uh, tanks. Certainly not the smallest and lightest here in our uh, lineup. Let's see, here we go. Up, up. Tackle the vertical. And I believe we are clear. Now, next question would be, can we do the wall? to just call that there. And there's no boosters on this thing. I can't remember if I did better than that on the first video or not, but it, uh, it definitely did the vertical, I just couldn't get it to climb the wall. So now I'm going to go here and go find the next tank here. A bit different design for the next one. Come on, let me out of the seat. They got very colorful here with the uh, turrets. I'm going to have to check closely, but I think it might be color according to type. 
all the rocket lo uh, rocket turrets being green, blue for the miniguns, pink for the uh, uh, and then um, black for the artillery turret, and then our Gatling guns all off the side. This so this one is actually designed to be. We see the doors over here. Even though this is the side of the vessel, it is designed for combat that you would uh, actually drive it. Let's see, that's passenger, passenger. I want to say that this here is our pilot seat. But we want to, for our case, that we're, I'm actually going to peek at the uh, thrust on this one. For our best thrust is. Okay. So it looks like the best thrust I will get if I take this pilot seat. I believe this is the correct one. So got a view there out a little window, but I'm going to go ahead for a better view from the third person. And while we're doing this, the boosters are charging. Line ourselves up. Here we go. Climbing, climbing, and sliding back down a little bit. I think we that was about so roughly about this incline is what it can handle. And that might have been partly uh, on uh, momentum, because it's not actually pushing me up onto the next incline, because the, the stuff. But that means right, right around there is about what it can probably climb, just a slightly less than that, as it was holding me there quite nicely. Now I'm seeing boosters on this thing, so let's go ahead and give our boost meter. Now that it seems to be reset and working, I hope. Okay, yep, here we got it all lined up. So that seems to be working the way it should be. Hit the boost. And here we go. We did get a, uh, a second light, so we cleared at least a meter there. Three meters plus one. So we go ahead and let's go ahead and park this one back at the s where we got it. Grab the next tank. I think the next one I might have a little commentary with that one. If it's the one I think it is. Mostly a little wish with it. Okay. This would be one of the ones when uh, uh, when I look at uh, some sort of uh, testing of it, you know, I feel like that it actually needs to be driven. One to see, you know, to get a feel for what it's like, and two, oh yes, a little humor there on the uh, bottom left-hand side. There's been a few of these uh, tanks that have had those little extra tidbits of uh, entertainment within them. Uh, automatic doors. Mm. And if you hadn't noticed there, it was a double door. It's been quite a common uh, theme with a lot of these. Now if I remember correctly, this one actually employs a triple door there. It is not automatic as far as I recall. So it is not rigged up with a motion sensor to make it very easy. And what was interesting is when I first went for this thing and I uh, was poking around even before I did any videos I was having troubles getting in and out of that door on the side there but then when I went to go to the video and talk about it uh, I actually got in and out of it I'm like wow that is interesting I had problems the first time but the second time I uh, made me feel like I was uh, uh, totally wrong so and I didn't mind that being in the video that way, but that was not why I uh, decided to make another take. As I said at the end, I was rambling about stuff that had no uh, 
No real value for this. Uh, and I missed it. But if you notice here, a peak underneath. Lots of hover engines. Lots of boosters. And we're in Kratos, so let's try to get back in here again. Now the comment that still stands from what I was uh, when I originally looked at this. Now we've got a lot of space in here. And if we look here, we've got all these. We got these that almost look like they have a uh, uh, mobile uh, mobile constructor per seat. You know, so this some of this stuff looks like it's you know more than what was asked for for the challenge. You'll find uh, that it's actually got plenty of uh, cargo storage. I had uh, previously opened up these doors. We can go ahead and close them. I'm not really worried. We're not, I'm not going into combat, so I'm not really trying to uh, have everything closed up and sealed up. Now, on the inside, they have this ramp that you uh, should theoretically be able to get out that door on the side. And the first time I tried the ramp, it didn't work for me, and then the second time when I was doing the video, it did. I was able to get up the ramp and out out the door so however in one of my previous videos I'd mentioned that there was one that I really wished they had followed the example and had a ramp to the second level inside so I've got you know yes they got this here but if you look right back here where I was the ramp, there actually is a second level there's a floor and everything up there but I wandered this thing several times and I am not other than uh, using boost, or in my case being in creative in boost, I'm just going to bring myself up there if I don't mess up. And you get to the second floor. But I would much more rather had, instead of a ramp to a door on the uh, second level out st outside, I would have probably much rather have had a ramp arranged so I could get to the second floor just going up a ramp and then if you wanted a uh, side exit over there um, perhaps instead of having the uh, a, uh, a driver's seat down there having had a uh, just a door onto the side of the vehicle you know, another one of those triple doors which I don't think I really messed with here getting into it because I'd already left the doors open for my last run Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this thing for a test spin here. Now, uh, it does have a lot of uh, spiky bits, the parts that you may not notice too well up there in the front. Looked a lot like a mouth with angry red teeth. And uh, above that there was a whole bunch of cockpits I forgot to show you that there is access to those cockpits from inside uh, this HV. So yeah, right at the moment, you just have to take my word for it. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, ooh, I'm having some little driving problems here. I do not drink, but sometimes I guess I drive as almost as if I am drunk. And... come on, come on. Is that just momentum carrying me up that so far? It says I'm going 0.9 meters a second, but I have a feeling that that is going... I'm slowly falling back down. We did not clear the vertical. Who knows, maybe if I'd had more momentum, I would have just carried right off the top and made it look like I could climb the vertical, but I am not. I am sliding down. So let's just go ahead and get off the ramp. We'll go over to the boost meter. We're at three meters hover height. So all I need to do is get on to the meter. We're gonna go here through the beginning, which should reset the meter. So we're measuring afresh. Okay, there's our first light. We are stopped. Hit the boost. 
Oh, I felt like a little bump, and it shows on the uh, in the lights. We did not clear a meter on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and park this, and maybe I'll take a moment to show you on that second again, that second level. If it just had a ramp up to there, there's actually some nice things about that second level. Now the first level is, uh, I think, with the storage and the seating along that uh, uh, center. It might have been a little bland around the outer hallway, but that center seating and uh, the storage behind the uh, uh, shuttered doors, those were kind of nice. So that's okay. We should have be hopefully stopped now that I can actually get out of the seat. Turn on my little headlamp so I can then hopefully show you. See right up here there's all sorts of little gaps that you can get to those cockpits on the front of this thing. And there's several of them. There's, there's actually several uh, several little holes like uh, I think that might actually be to a lamp. But I know there was, well, I want to say there was more that one there. Oh, come on. Oh, at least that one I can see. Uh, this up, but it was kind of nice. Well, maybe that other, maybe that was a, uh, you know, maybe if I just opened that shutter, it would have been to another one of the cockpits. But let's take a quick uh, peek here. We have, uh, as I said, where there's a triple door, if I remember correctly. Door there. This door there. Oops. I'm pretty sure it was a triple door. I'd have to do a little more poking at it, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. Maybe it is only a double door, but I thought it was a triple door. Well, maybe it is only a double, but. Maybe when I poke at it again another time, I'll be like, oh yes, there's the other door. Or I'll be like, oh, I was wrong. That was only a double door. I know at least some of these have had, had a triple door. I do like the look of this one. A bit different in some of its appearance compared to some of the others. some reason I'm thinking as I'm looking at this it looks almost to me I think of like some sort of battleship among tanks I love some of the work they've done here okay if I actually landed these things I could just walk up the ramps instead of using the jets to maneuver myself through here Beautiful interior here. Love that those uh, arched effects going through here. Okay, let's take the pilot seat, and another one drops when we get into this pilot seat. Boosters going. Let's see what this is like to drive. Oh yes. When it comes to my capital vessels, I tend to do a, uh, 
a windshield very much like this, except on the capital vessel it ends up looking a lot different when you're looking out of it. And I'm pretty sure I just cleared the vertical, but I am not sure if I'm stuck on top of my ramp here. Yeah, I'm stuck on the top of the ramp. <laughs> Okay, now I am clear the ramp. Cleared the ramp. Let us come to the wall. And I pretty much just walk this thing right on up to the wall. And over we go. I think I'm getting myself stuck at the top of the wall. But we do know it'll do the wall climb. If it wasn't, if I had maybe more of a gradual on the t uh, top of that wall, instead of just a sharp end to the wall, maybe I could have done a little better. But it does climb the wall. It does make that 90 degree transition. That was the point of that wall. Okay, we're at three meters. Boost meter is reset. There we go for our first light. Hit the boost. And we did not even clear a meter. It felt like a nice little bounce, but we didn't get a meter on that. Okay. Oh my, this last tank's going to be fun. <laughs> this last tank's going to be very entertaining. Because I have not practiced with it. Who knows, maybe I'll do better this second r run with the double trouble, but oh my, oh my, my first time on it. Let's see if you get to see my, uh, my challenge as it was. There is not often I ask for more stability in an HV, I have. I think I've learned to deal with a certain degree in instability, but I should say only a certain ability, um, certain degree of instability. This, oh my, what an adventure it was! Okay, so these two here are looking much like two separate hover vehicles, or actually just one blueprint. They do not yet at this time have a structural integrity for vehicles that require them to be one piece. Makes it very interesting when you see things get blown up. I, uh, I had an experience where I, uh, shortly after I learned how, how to actually go somewhere and blow some of my own stuff up in creative, I went into, uh, to uh, testing some of mine and found that they were very poorly designed when it came to uh, their st structure and uh, internal explosions. And it was very interesting to see some of them basically just split in half but yet they still were one piece as far as the game was concerned. So in this case these are actually built and designed to be two parts of one hull. Now there was a couple things I noticed here. One, most especially, especially is when we get down here on the ground, to actually enter the vehicle there's no nice little ramp for me to land on. There's no doors at a, you know, at a level that I'm just gonna hit my booster and land uh, and try to make the door. I would have to hit the booster and try to get all the way up on there and land on that. Now on the ground that would be a lot more reasonable to do a boost up to that. But this vehicle almost feels like it was not only built in creative 
but really usable and creative. So, who knows, when I uh, actually get around to uh, testing these, I might have to just put together a uh, ramp that I can have this park ne next to, you know, or park the you know, mobile ramp, you know, like a, another HV, that I can just bring myself a ramp right up to this thing and try to get in that way. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get in one of these driver's seats. I want to say that there was a matching driver's seats over in there where they had a nice blue lighting going on. Okay, we'll do our exterior view. Lift our hover up a bit. And I am not tipping over yet. And no. Okay, I think this one I had to do keyboard controls, or did I have to or did I do keyboard controls and mouse? And this was very interesting. I am doing much better this second time around than I did my first. And let's see if it holds. And I have not tipped over yet. I have not tipped over yet. And I'm I haven't tipped over. But I, that didn't do very well either. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. Wow. Amazingly. Oh, here we go, here we go. I'm <laughs> flipped over. <laughs> oh, which way am I? Okay. Let's see. I'm pretty sure with the how easy this thing is to tip. I am doing so much better this second run on this thing. Maybe I should have done all my videos with two runs. Oh well. I don't think I'm gonna... I may eventually rerun a few vehicles as they've been changed, but that's... I haven't decided that yet for sure. These are all being initially just run with them as they were submitted at the end of the contest. Or at least they ended up in this save. And climb the wall. Yeah. Oh, wow. You sh it's too bad. That first video, this part probably would have been hilarious to see my driving. All over the place tipping on the uh, tipping this thing constantly like that but all the way I was I was having a very hard time of flying this thing well driving it I guess they don't technically fly they're hover vehicles but I was a hard time driving it but I seem to be doing a little better here on my second run. But, and I quickly got off the keyboard. Or I should say not off the keyboard, but off the mouse. Even though I like using the mouse, it kind of can, you know, can be a little sensitive and jerk uh, the vehicle around a bit. So, getting on the keyboard. Well, that uh, concludes the just a basic driving test of these things. It doesn't really reveal the combat capabilities. We could make some guesses based on some of their appearance and the turrets and uh, the arrangement of the turrets as uh, I was browsing them. But that is not a definitive test. That is just making and drawing uh, conclusions based upon um, perhaps some of my experience in the game and others may be doing that as well. But I think uh, sometimes you can uh, be surprised. And I think it would be a very learning experience for me to actually take these various uh, tanks out for a nice little test drive. 31 tanks. Currently there is not a nice convenient uh, test run that can be done. Uh, I know one player is working on a scenario that can be used for such. I am not. Uh, I'm not sure when or uh, if it's completed. Uh, you know that. Uh, 
how that will be. Uh, it might be one of those things where we're much uh, like uh, doing better on the uh, with this uh, double trouble on my second run with it. That maybe I'd have to do uh, more than one run with the uh, tanks and then just um, uh, having gotten a little practice with them, then see how well. But we'll see um, uh, the, how things go uh, at this time. I'm not sure when that's going to be happening. So I'm, it's very possible that I may be uh, on to other things and other distractions and may forget to come back to this. But I would love to drive some of these tanks and actually uh, see how well they do and see what I can learn in the process. And maybe you guys uh, if I, uh, are agreeable to seeing your uh, tanks destroyed. That would be my goal if I did that. It was not just to uh, use them, but uh, to uh, see how far I can go with them until they die. Um, so, well, enjoy. And uh, until I make another video, have a good night.